In this question we have an airplane traveling at a ground velocity of 320 kilometers an hour in a direction north 15 degrees west in a wind-free environment. The plane then encounters a wind which changes its ground velocity. We want to know the velocity of the wind. So in this question what we're looking for isn't the resultant vector, we're actually looking for one of the two component vectors because this vector and this blue vector would typically combine to give the black one but in this question we know the two black vectors and we want to know this. So um, the first part is actually relatively straightforward since this plane is traveling north 15 degrees west and this one's north 35 degrees west this must be 20 degrees. So we put that in 20 degrees. From here it's relatively straightforward for us to uh, calculate the magnitude of the wind's velocity. We simply use the cosine law. And we get that the wind's velocity is approximately uh, has a magnitude of 116.3 kilometers per hour. We then have to figure out the direction that the wind is traveling because we need to know uh, we need to know the velocity. So we have to find an angle. So what we're going to do here is set up a sine law to find this angle here. We're not going to find the largest angle because the largest angle could uh, lead to an ambiguous case of the sine law. We're going to find the uh, medium, the middle angle. So using the sine law, we get that the um, middle angle is approximately equal to 70.2 degrees. So we put 70.2 degrees in here which means that this bigger angle must be 89.8 degrees due to the 180 rule. 89.8 degrees goes right there. Um, however we know that there's a 15 degree angle here. And since this is 15 degrees that means this must be 15 degrees right here. If that's 15 degrees right here, then this must be equal to 55.2 degrees. If this here is 55.2 degrees, then, or sorry, this is 89.8 degrees. So if this is uh, 15 degrees, then this right here must be equal to 74.8 degrees. I misspoke earlier. So this right here where the check mark is is 74.8 which means that this right here where the alpha is is 15.2 degrees. So we have a wind traveling in a direction west 15.2 degrees south. So our final velocity is approximately equal to 116.3 kilometers per hour west 15.2 degrees south.